Right guys, welcome back to another Dynamite Tip of the Day. Uh, today we're, we're going to speak about fundamentals, setup and your stance. Uh, I've been getting a lot of messages about it lately, so I will speak about it. So, the biggest common problem what I see with most amateurs is like, basically what they do, they'll play a shot and then they're walking around to play the next shot and they're straight down. So what happens then is that they're having to adjust while they're down on the shot and that's a big no-no. Firstly, because even just now, my balance is not right, my right leg is too too far over and there's too much weight on my left leg and I'm uh, too over the ball, you know what I mean, I, I'm like over the ball so I'm like crunched in there. So it's important like, to, to just visualise a shot before you even get down to play the shot. Everything should be set up before you play the shot so when you get down to the shot you're thinking nothing else but the execution. and. Uh, and if you set up right, you'll be a lot more confident. So basically all I do is just step in with my right foot and then and then step in with my left. So it's, so it's like a walking stance. I want everything pointing towards the target line. So that's all I do, just the cue down the right hand side of my leg and then just step in with my right like this and then step in with my left. So what I want, I want, I want the toe of my right foot in line with the middle of my left foot. Uh, it hasn't got to be, your stance is not going to be perfect, it's just got to be well balanced and 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 really facing the target line. That That is a secret. If you watch most of the top pros, especially in snooker, even American pool, they all have like a, a pretty good uh, solid base there. Uh, so that their al alignment's, it, alignment's really good. So basically just step in slightly with my right, then to my left and just get down to the shot. So also your hand is very important. Where there's a lot of people, they have their hand too close to the cue ball. So what happens there is that you're getting trapped and you can't get through the cue ball, you become very stabby. And if you're too far away with your hand, you're running out of cue. So what happens when you hit the white ball, you're not going through the cue ball. It's like stopping there. So you're losing like a lot of timing and you're losing a lot of power. So uh, having the, your hand in the right spot is, is uh, very important. So what I do as a, a training uh, drill is that I put the cue ball in line with this diamond here and then my hand, for me personally, I, I, I have it in line with the diamond here coming across the table. So that's where I, I sort of start with my hand. So then when I'm cueing the ball, I can bring it back nice and smooth and through the ball, through the ball and through the ball. And, and that's key. So like timing and tempo is, is very important. So you can even count it down in your head. So because like a lot of people, when they're, when they're sh striking the cue ball, they're too quick and very stabby. So that they lose their timing and tempo. So you can even count it down in your head. So like, for example, if I'm coming up to the cue ball now, I'd probably go one, two, three, just like feather the cue ball. And then when I'm ready to, uh, to uh, strike, I just stop at the cue ball, back and through, back and through. So you can even count it down, go one, two, one, two, where there's a lot of people that go one and then just really too quick. So timing and tempo, very important. So down to the shot, everything's in line, and it's just pause at the cue ball, back and through, back and through. And if you keep practicing that, and do the right things, just take them extra couple of seconds before you get down to the shot, it'll make a big difference to your game and you'll see a lot of big improvements.